one thing about Oni and his honorees are that they make some certain mistakes that are not even meant to be repeated at all. If Oni himself has made a decision about whatever is going to go on in the palace, they are meant to respect the decision he is making, not trying to make Oni feel like as if he has made any wrong decision. Of course, every human being tends to make mistakes in their life, but you don't just have to point it out to everybody and tell, it, tell every single person about the mistake he has made. So at the point where you find yourself in, it is either you live for what you are seeing or you get rid of, get rid of it completely. Because not even a single person will be ready to show you how things work. If at all you are not ready to show people what you do and how you do it. If not, it is never going to be something you will put your hands into. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we bring you top gist from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Olori Toby Phillips now thinks everything that is going inside of the palace she can have her way in it you know there are some boundaries that every single woman in the palace face yes only has some boundaries for every single one of his honorees so that they will know that he is not in for jokes anymore he has set his limits for every single person and now toby phillips thinks she has a hand over everything that only is trying to do she has like a very strong hand in whatever Oni is trying to pull together in order to make it a very successful thing for him and also every single one of the Oloris and people in the Palace of Ilife. But the thing is that Toby Phillips is actually wrong. Yes, she is actually wrong because Oni himself has realized that she is trying to separate him from Queen Naomi. She is trying to separate him from Queen Naomi and that is the last thing that Oni will want. That is one of the things Oni won't even think about because why would you try and separate him? Why is it that it is only Oni you'll be thinking of? Why is it that the things that you are thinking of is not what will benefit the palace? It is what is going to destroy the palace and what is all of these things that she's busy planning? Is it that the things that are going on in the palace doesn't mean anything to her or what? Is it that the things that she's busy seeing doesn't mean anything? If at all she's ready to see how it goes, if at all she's ready to see what exactly happens, it is because of the things that are happening in the palace. Now she's announcing to Oni that Oni should go ahead and choose between her and Queen Naomi. And of course, without even a doubt, you know Oni's answer. Oni told her that, see, if you are truly ready for whatever we want, you should know that I cannot choose between you and Queen Naomi because I will choose Queen Naomi any single day and time. There is no day that he won't choose Queen Naomi. So what is all of the story that oh, Toby Phillips is trying to make? What is all of the troubles that she is trying to make in her life? It is better she stays on her own, enjoy her own peace of mind, stay with her children, do whatever she wants to do. That will be a better solution for her. Not coming around and be asking Oni, is it better you stay with me or you stay with Queen Naomi? In even a hundred years, even if Oni is blind, even if Queen Naomi is very ugly, even if Queen Naomi is not the way she was before, Oni will still pick Queen Naomi over any single one of his honorees in the palace. Why do you think Oni is always wanting like a return match for Queen Naomi? Because he knows her value. And those are the kind of women that you are meant to be pursuing. Not all of the women that, yes, they have ex-husband, is either they have a child outside or not. Because I don't understand the logic behind all of these things. I don't understand the logic behind all of it. If Oni is really sure that he wanted to get married to any single person, you shouldn't go and get married to one woman that has an, an ex-husband and the ex-husband too is disturbing. You know all those type of things. So it is up to Oni now to make certain decisions in his life. It is up to Oni to make certain decisions, whether he is happy about it or not, whether he is doing some things to help himself or not. It is up to him to do that. But Toby Phillips cannot go in any way at all and start making up decisions, telling Oni to pick. If Oni is being picky now, you pick with Naomi from now till the end of the year. 
from now to whenever he wants. That is his own business. That is what he has chosen. That is what he sees that is right. So you can't stop his decision. You can't tell him that this is not right. This is not how the thing goes. That is what he feels is right. So he will be willing to do it every single time he comes across all of these things. So whether she's happy about the situation or Nipota or not, she is meant to know that there is a limit to all of these things. Yes, there is a limit. There is a certain limit that you have to guide. There are guidelines following all of it. You cannot just come and tell Oni to pick between you and, and Queen Naomi when you know you, you yourself. You know that what Queen Naomi has done for people inside of the palace is way more much than any of you could ever think of. And you think Oni could just sit down and allow you talk like that? No. Oni is not willing to see all of that happen because he knows the kind of value Queen Naomi has into the palace of Ilebe. So instead of hearing whatever they have to say, he's always silencing them, trying to tell them the real truth. But the Oloris, as you know them, they are never ready for the real truth. They want to hear the lie so that they can say, oh, you are lying to me. That is what they want. So if at all Oni is ready for all of these things that the Oloris are doing, he should make it clear to them that never ever should they even try and put Queen Naomi in front of the Oloris. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments down at the comments section.